Hey everybody, welcome back. So if you saw the tell all part four, you will know and understand that Big Ed was not right with some of the things he was doing. Not only did he rile Jovi up, but he caused Jenny to erupt in an outburst. And Jenny of all people, Jenny is very mild mannered. Jenny is the type of person who is very calm and situated, but even Jenny had an outburst where she had to tell him, who do you think you are? So, of course, you should know that Ed Brown lost his fiance Liz Woods. I mean, didn't everybody expect this to happen? And not only did he lose his fiance Liz Woods, but he irritated other cast members with his unwarranted criticisms. I'm like, he was doing the most while doing the least at the same time. In fact, most of the season's cast members were at odds with Big Ed over all of his antics, right? Like, he, he was very rude, he was very vile. On that tell all not only when it came to how he treated Liz Woods of course but also over his combative responses to other people on the show especially other women even he was being called out right he was called out by Angela Deem of all people hey a clock can be right two times a day right even Angela Deem had to call him out because of what he was doing, saying how he stands up for other people on the show, especially the other women, but he never stands up for Liz Woods. And he did Liz Woods wrong in so many ways with his actions, his mannerisms, kicking her out of the house, which is wrong, and then inviting her back, but only to stay over every other day, every other night. That's just not right. You don't do that sort of stuff. And the cast members saw that. The cast members understood that because he wasn't shy about chiming in with his opinions on not only his problems, but other people's problems. And just the way how he was treating Liz Woods and other things, it was just a very bad situation. I don't like it. I'm sure you didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it. 90 Day fans didn't like it. And this is why a lot of people do not like Big Ed because of the stuff he keeps doing. And of course, you know, the tell all came to an explosive head on Sunday night when Jenny, yes, Jenny Slatton, finally stopped holding back because he was just annoyed. When Ed called Jovi a crybaby, I fed up Jenny who had been, of course, silently observing Ed's behavior the entire time on the tell-all, interjected to confront little Ed over his behavior. Because how he acts, how he deals with things is just rude. Rude wrong. Jenny even asks, why don't you be quiet? I've had enough of this guy. He insults everybody. Have you have insulted everybody, every cast member up here? What the hell is so perfect about you is what she says. And I'm gonna have to agree with her. And of course, Ed continued to interrupt, telling Jenny her turn to speak had already passed. Like, who is he? be saying these things and of course jenny yelled back my turn is whenever i want to take my turn my turn is not when you tell me to kiss my ass dude low clap gotta say oh clap come on slow clap slow clap slow clap i'm glad that jenny stood up for herself Ed considered the encounter, of course, disrespectful to him, not what he was doing, but the encounter <laughs> disrespectful to him. But of course, the other woman praised Jenny behind the scenes for stepping in. Yara Zaya and Kim Menzies, of course, celebrated her comebacks on the car ride home. Jenny wondered once again, and I quote, who does he think he is? 
why do they call him Big Ed? He's like little. Yawar chimed in, of course. It's like when people who have a small dick buy a big car. If Jenny's decision to speak up wasn't enough, discouragement, Jovi attempted to have a word with the now single Ed about his behavior, specifically how he acts towards women. Exactly. Exactly. This is what I am talking about. Of course, Jovi cited a moment during the tell-all when Ed had exchanged harsh words with Yara before implicitly warning Ed to pipe down, saying, I'm just gonna tell you, be lucky this shit is going on in the studio because if not, somebody would probably beat your ass for talking to people's women the way you do. And guess what? I agree with that. Jovi continued, if a woman goes after you, you do not handle the situation that way. You can fire back, but you don't need to get aggressive and you don't need to scream at a woman, including my wife, including Jenny. And of course, Ed had to defend himself saying, and I quote, your wife was very disrespectful to me. Jovi, of course, reminded Ed of his failed relationship with Liz before reiterating, you don't need to talk to any woman that way, especially your fiance. Ed's tumultuous season with Liz, the ups and downs, the roller coaster, ended with the pier not even speaking as Ed packed his bags for Boston because he had an engagement in Boston and Liz flew home all alone to San Diego. His much younger ex announced she'd be leaving Ed behind after he broke their engagement, making it 11 times Ed has ended their relationship during the tell all yikes liz received encouragement from of course her fellow 90 day stars including her san diego neighbor kim saying she deserves so much better the girl talk may have changed the way liz sees her relationship because they did have a moment there all together and of course liz is quoted to be saying now i know this relationship is not going to work after the weekend and i quote once again ed and i are done for good this time i swear this is the last breakup i'm gonna go back home and i'm gonna live a good life i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna put liz first and i'm gonna look i'm, I'm looking forward to it and hey i think that's the best for her i really do and that was it for Nanny Day, Fiance, Happily Ever After, Season 7, with a four-part tell-all, No Limit. A new season, of course, of Nanny Day, Fiance, The Other Way, will premiere January 29th, of course, on TLC. And guess what? I will be here for it. Overall, did I enjoy the tell-all? Um, yes and no. There were a lot of things about the tell-all that I didn't like. I felt it was boring. And there were other aspects that were amazing. So, hey, we shall see. We shall see what happens next in the life of Big Ed and Liz. I did make a video, though, that they were caught in Old Town, San Diego, holding hands together and walking together. So what you may see on TV might not always be the truth or be all of the truth. There are some embellishments, I shall say. So just stay. We shall see what happens. Maybe we'll see Liz on The Single Life. Maybe we'll see Big Ed on The Single Life. Maybe we'll see both of them on The Single Life. Anyways, I'm out. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell and leave me a comment. I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content.